Okay, let's look at the opening guitar riff for Your Grace is Enough. And right now I'm playing this open, I'm playing it in G. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with my middle finger on our fifth string, on the B string. And we're going to place this on our eighth fret. Okay? We're going to use our pointer on the seventh fret, on the B string. And then we're going to use our pinky on ten. Okay, that's going to be the foundation for this entire riff. So what we're going to do is we're going to start here with those three notes, and we're going to add in our G string as a drone string. So we're just going to let that just going to let that drone along with it. Okay, and here's the opening foundation of this riff. Okay, so again, now we're going to lift and walk down, seven, five, three, and back up to eight, now we're going to take our pointer and put it down on our E string on the seventh fret. And then we come back here, now for the second part which is kind of a tag to the riff, we come again with our pointer finger to the E string, okay, so let's look at that all the way through. Now the only other thing I'll usually do different is if I'm playing a solo acoustic guitar, uh, what I'll do is instead of finishing here, at the end of the riff, I'll slide down and I'll pick up on the third fret the B, B string and the E string for the top end of a G chord here. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put this on a metronome. Uh, the band normally plays it at about 118. I'm going to put it in at 110 here just so we can slow it down a little bit and here's how it sounds and what we're going to do is we're going to drop in on the one and we're going to have if we have a drummer playing with us we want them just to launch in on the one uh, with a four on the floor pattern we don't want the drummer to try to match what we're doing because the accents are on the ups so we don't want them trying to match our because that's going to throw everybody off so we're all going to come in on the one so let's do it now on one and two and one, two, three, four. That's the opening riff. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to be starting with a G chord at the beginning of the verse once we're through the riff, and I, I play this song in the key of G. It was originally recorded by Matt in the key of A flat, and I want to say that Chris Tomlin recorded it in the key of A, uh, which is great. We can always add a capo on one and play G to go to an A flat, or we can capo two and be in the key of A playing a G chord, okay? So for, the, for my assembly and for my band, we do this in the key of G. So we'll start here. Great is your faithfulness, O God of Jacob. And then we're going to go to an E minor. You wrestle with the sinner's restless heart. And then back to that same pattern. Lead me by still waters into mercy Where nothing can keep us apart 
So that's the verse. We have G, and then a G over B, to a C chord, to an E minor, and we're walking up, going to a D over F sharp, back to a C, and that repeats itself for the second part. You lead us by still waters into mercy. Where nothing can keep us apart. Now we're into the pre chorus. So we're going to come from the C down to an A minor seventh. So remember. We're going to walk up your people. Continue walking up to a C. Remember your children. To a D. Now we're going up again to an E minor. Remember your promise, oh God. We kind of end that pre-chorus right there on a C. And then for the chorus, we go right back to the one chord, right back to the G. Your grace is enough. Your grace is enough. Back to the verse. Same pattern. So to look at our chorus, we start on a G on our one chord. Your grace is enough. To a D, the five chord. We go to the E minor. Your grace is enough. To a C. Your grace is enough for me. For me. All right, second verse, and then uh, through the rest of the song. That's it. Thanks for stopping by this edition. Lead Connect Praise video with uh, Your Grace is Enough by Matt Marr. Until next time, God bless.